Hey guys, this is Ducky. This is my first tutorial about wire, and I'm going to be showing you how to make my hover platform with thrusters only. I'd just like to thank Admiral Igram for the expression, and he's helped me to make this. Okay, so go to Phoenix Construct, um, a 4x4 four four metal plate will do, and freeze it in the air. Go down to wire physics. that to thrusters okay so force multiply of 10 effects if you want and same Mo minimum of 0 and maximum of something big like 100,000 bidirectional has to be on and works out of water has to be on as well so place them in the corners I recommend smart snap for this and it needs to be um, needs to be very accurate, so just make sure you get it in the right place. Okay, so that's the thruster sun. I'll go to wire detection, yeah, and get the ranger. Okay, so what the ranger does is it tells you if the um, height is decreasing. So the range is ten thousand, so that's an absolute maximum height it'll go default to zero, on, show beam on, and output distance. So if you place this there, 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 and there. There we go. So now, go to expression. I'll post the um, code on the website. Okay, so you put one there, 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 and there. Okay, so you need um, an expression per thruster because it's it was easier for Igram to code it that way. So the thruster's A value goes to the expression chip, and the expression's ranger input goes to the ranger. If you do this for all of them, now oh yeah my um, hover platform you can increase the altitude so if you go to wire input and output advanced input choose the button you'd like to make it go higher I'm using plus the button you'd like to make it go lower I'm using minus toggle preferably off minimum of 10 maximum of 500 start at 10 and change per second 20. The change per second is showing you how much um, height, how much altitude, how much the altitude would increase per second. So go to, oh, forgot to do that. Forgot to wire it up. Okay, so the up input goes to the advanced input the up to that same for all of them okay now the down to the same advanced input and last one to the advanced input so what I'll do is this all I'll unfreeze this. What should happen is this should be hovering above the ground. So I just let let it even it out. Yeah, and you can see that's quite blatantly hovering. Okay, so you can increase the the um, altitude. So if you press your increase button for the advanced input, you can see it's quite smoothly going up and you can make it go down again. So there are a few problems with this. For say if you wanted to stand on it, if you watch what happens when it unfreeze this, it tips, but then you can use this as a vehicle, hard to control, and um it'll go in the direction that you you are facing. Yeah. So, as I said it's really hard to control. 
so if anyone can make a stabilize for it then that'd be great so but if you stand in the middle then this will this should yeah take my weight and I can increase and decrease like normal okay I don't have a motto yet so I'm just gonna say this is ducky hope you enjoyed it over and out